I'm Carrie Liefat. Welcome to. Oh crap. Hi, I'm Carrie Liefat. Welcome to watching. So welcome to watching. I'm so nervous all of a sudden. I do this all the time, and you're like, I'll be my name. Sorry, sorry. Hi, I'm Carrie Liefat. Welcome to my Torah Woman photo shoot. So today we had actress Carrie Lythat on set, beautiful girl, awesome personality, great energy. She was really ambitious and she just was bringing a lot of her own personality to, to, to the set and she, everything I would tell her she would ask me for direction and then take the direction really well. So I talked to Carrie a little earlier today and she loved the idea of the lace and the, and the simplicity of the setup and I think that allowed for her to move around in the space because it wasn't so specific, it was something that was very simple and that sort of the whole 80s vibe really tied in today which she was really excited about because she does a lot of really serious stuff and then to come on set and do something that's a little bit more a sort of surreal environment, I think it was a nice escape for her. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Hold that. <laughs> Amy, our prop stylist, had really good ideas to spray paint through lace and it created these really interesting shapes that were sort of floral and I liked it because the spray paint wisped at the end and, and it was these really interesting structures and used those as like a foundation to create like a surreal world. She stood out a lot. She looked like a dark angel in this really pretty soft room and the treatment is really pastel and soft and even so it, it, it gives, it adds for a really nice juxtaposition. For the first look, we used the blue texture. So we decided to include the table and shoot a little higher so you saw the texture coming from the table and it almost looked like the blue neon was bleeding into the neon pink table. And she had like this like whacked out hair that was like beaming out from the sides and like this corset that was like so dominatrix and like powerful and like this woman in charge. And it's like, why is this woman with this corset in this like space that has all these really pretty colors and this sort of floral feeling to it and um, had her kind of moving and things that were a little bit more structured and posed and, and it, it was really nice because she wasn't really doing anything in those shots. It's really translated well and made her advance a lot. The second look was um, probably the most dollhouse inspired look and Tosh had put up these frames that were had stenciling in them and kind of randomly placed them. And we got the table and we placed it on an angle like it had fallen and it looked like this sort of disheveled room that was still elegant at the same time and it was well pieced together. For this shot it was really cool because when I got really close to her, she sort of like exploded and there's like really sexual expressions came out and she sort of met the camera and, and, and you know, it was really magical at that moment. It was probably the best part of the, of the day because she really came out of her shell and she really felt that whole scene that we created. Hold that, can you play with that? Oh, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Hold that. <laughs> The third look was a beauty shot, and we chose neon orange as our third color to work with. And then we just, she was just playing around and she kind of rocked it out a lot of these ones and she was leaning her head back and her mouth was open and it looked really sexy and really like, you know, uh, provocative and really charged. So then we put her in this leather jacket and it sort of opened up and we showed more of her chest, with, which made it really airy and, and pulled the hair back a little bit to give it some variety. And then we just continued with that and she came up with these really cool expressions, she played with the wall and stuff. So just tying it from one scene to the other, to the next, and, and just sort of piecing this ambiguous shoot together. Love that. All together today turned out to be a very surprising day only because I didn't focus a lot on specific details. So I ended up putting her in this space and explored it as the shoot progressed and sort of discovered things along the way. So when we were looking at the photos and reviewing things, things stood out and then when we really sort of felt inspired by something, we pursued it even further and, and I think that's what made today really unique was the sort of um, spontaneity of each shoot flowing from one to the other. I think the gallery today is gonna have a very different color palette, which we're not used to seeing in The Toro Woman, this sort of neon print that uh, is really fresh and new. And I think that having Carrie juxtaposed in this 80s vibe is gonna stand out and it's gonna make it really unique.